Welcome to the bold analysis. The messaging around the reason why the country Kenya Kwanza administration had to change the second in command mid their term. The messaging from the political class is what is going to push William Ruto in a very delicate spot. There is a soundbite from Bomet. I want us to take some time and listen to what the gentleman from Bomet is talking about. Sasa mimi niko na swali kwa serikali. Ulikuwa unatuambia kwamba huyu jamaa anaitwa Rikijia alikuwa ameangaisha serikali. Sasa ametoka. Natumai tutapata maji. Natumai sisi tutapata parapara hapa Bomet. Natumai tutapata maji. Natumai hata wapunge wetu wale ambao wanakimbia kila mahali na siasa wakisema tunachunga namba moja. Sasa namba moja amechungwa na kindiki. Kwa hivyo hata sisi kujeni mtuchunge nyumbani. Sisi tumeshangaa hata juzi mimi nimeona kwa serikali ya kwamba hakuna pesa yenye itakuja counties kwa hii mwezi ambaye tunaenda. Tunataka tuambie rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Sisi kama watu wa Bomet atukuulize mingi. Tunaulize yenye kwa katipa. Atusemi kwa sababu at president yeye anatoka the current nation no we need our rights as the fathers of this country yes. let us be given our rights we need the percentage of katipa ile katipa ambayo inasema kila mkenya apate haki sisi tunataka tupate haki barabara zetu hapa ni mbaya haya kitu kingine hapa tukisema hatuna maji tukiongea hapa hakuna maji watoto wetu waacha andikwa kazi sasa serikali tunaoliza siasa i thought tulimaliza 2022 sasa siasa nyingine imekuja kwa hii mwaka kwa hivyo tuna si serikali hii siasa sasa iishe na waanze kutufanyie kazi. 2027 is around the corner. Mtakuja kutuambia nini? Ile haidi ambayo ulitoaidi wakati ule umetimiza. So swali langu na maombi yangu kwa serikali kindiki umeingia kazi ndugu yangu. Fanyia kazi wananchi. President, saa hii umechitagulia mtu mwenye ulikuwa unamtaka. Sasa tunangojea, tunangojea kazi na kusema ukweli. Tangu hizi serikali tujague kusema tu ukweli. Hakuna kitu sisi tumepata. Sisi watu wa Bomet hatujapata chochote. Waja tuseme ukweli ndio president hata naye ajue ya kwamba hata sisi tunahitaji maendeleo. Tunahitaji hospitali huko. Sisi tuliambia tutachengewa hospitali. Hiyo hospitali ambayo alisema hatutachengewa. At, hatuna South Rift yote mzima hapa yote msikirijo Bomet Naro hatuna hatuna mtu akikonjeka hapa kama ni saratani. Unapata watu wanaenda Eldoret. Hatuna hospitali hapa. Na watu wetu wanapikana hapa hata hao wapunge ambao wako hapa hata nyinyi mkicheza mtaenda nyumbani. So wapunge nanyi kujeni nyumbani na mtuzulete salamu, mtulete maendeleo. Unajua wapunge wa Bomet wakikuja kila mara, anakuja anatuambia mnasalamiwa na president. Mnasalamiwa na president. Muzikuje na salamu, tumezalamika. Mtulete maendeleo. Asante sana. Mimi nilikuwa nakaa nyuma ya rikichika pesa. Na yale yote ambayo yametokea mimi nimekubali. Hata kwa kiwanja huu anasemaye uh, lazima kuna namba moja na namba mbili na mimi nimekubali nimeshindwa kutoka pale lakini kitu nataka ni kite uh, rais wa jamhuri wa Kenya umepata naibu wako uh, iwapo naibu rikati ambaye ameondolewa kutoka imbichi na ametoka alikuwa amesuia maendeleo ya Kenya wote mimi nasema rais wetu ambaye tuwapenda kutoka jimbo letu wa Bomet Uh, kitu yenye tunahitaji sasa ni maendeleo. In this three years remaining now uh, tunahitaji maendeleo. Kama Rikati alikuwa amesuia ile yetu ambayo ulituaiti sisi wa Kalenji na watu wa Bomet wote utuletee sasa wabunge wetu. Wabunge wa chumbo la Bomet wote tunawaomba sasa nafasi yenye imepaki ni nafasi ya kufanyia wa Kenya kazi. Kuanzia serikali kuu paka serikali yetu ya chini hapa tuahitaji sisi sote kitu yenye imepaki ni maendeleo kwa raia. Mimi tunashukuru kabisa His Excellency President appointed is deputy yake Kindiki kuwa makamu yake ya rais. Kwa sababu sisi watu wa Bomet tunaunga mkono His Excellency the President na deputy yake and Kindiki Kindiki ni mtu wa upole, mtoto ile mzuri sana nimaliza na mama yake mzuri, ni mtu anachua ni nani. Eh? Sisi wa Pomet tunapenda sana His Excellency President William Ruto. Kitu tabu moja tu tuko pa Pomet tunakuambia His Excellency President. Mambo ya parapara hii yaenda sikor, parapara nyingine inaanza enda Merigi, patu Malisha. 
sasa kama ni kazi kianza ni sasa tunashukuru nikependa kumshukuru or i would like to congratulate uh, professor kindiki the current deputy president for his appointment this video that gentleman if you listen to that video they are saying that for the last two years the public seemed to see that the reason why William Ruto is changing his deputy is because he feels his deputy is the man that is the reason why the government failed for the last two years. I saw an attempt by Kenya Kwanzaa to try to explain that the reason why there were protests in this country is because of um, Rigadi Geshagwa influence. But Gadi Gashoga wanted to do some coup d'etat. Now, if you look at the nature of the charges that were leveled against the deputy president, they were very flimsy. And it was very clear that the president had a motive behind that impeachment. And clearly, they have been talking about insubordination. So, to some extent, Mwanainchi is seen and Mwanainchi is now confronting the president that you seem to insinuate that the reason why we've not been able to achieve our agenda as UDA government is because of the deputy president Tugadegeshagwa. And so having changed Tugade, people now have a feeling, portraying on what he said, that Kindiki is going to change things. But remember, if you're, a keen, if you're a keen observer in the political arena, you'll appreciate the fact that the problem was never regarding Geshangwa utterances. The problem was never about regarding Geshangwa in subordination. And the problem was never about individual. The virus that has been eating Kenya Kwanzaa administration since October 9th, uh, since August 9th, 2022, is just policies that are not well thought out, number one. Number two, the problem has been president forcing, bringing up things and policies without consulting Mwanainchi. And third issue, has been about corruption. And one thing I, I actually appreciate in that soundbite is the fact that the public is saying, you are done with Rigadi. There is nothing we can do. But now, show us the real issue. And in fact, I want you to listen to another video here. This video simplifies the Kenyan problem. Brutalize another time, for that is his nature. Chidwe. Kila nyumba, kila soko, kila shule, kupiga sumu simu, auta itaji tena bundles. Mwajwa watu wengi wanaangaika na bundles, jui bundles, badai bundles. Kwa sababu sasa na deploy internet. Simu utakuwa unakuwa unapiga free of charge. Simu haita kwa inakatika. Kwa sababu sasa utakuwa na deploy internet. I'm pleased to announce that uh, five stadia will be complete by April. The Bible says thou shalt not lie. When the president stands there to the Petramusha Bay uh, Stima, pale kwa charging station, ya pikipiki senu, mbaka five years dollars, which is about eight shillings. Nimmanielewa, mume shikanisha hii maneno. Tuko pamoja. For the record, Kenya Panza will not continue the borrowing spree that we have seen that has ballooned that has ballooned our debt in the last five years alone 
close to 7 trillion Kenya shillings have been borrowed. Na mimi nataka niwaambie hivi serikali ya Kenya hakuna hata tax moja tumeongeza. Na hakuna hata tax itaongeza mtaona katika budget yetu ya mwezi wa zita tutakuwa tunapunguza taxes. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie wa Kenya ile galana ndani ya miezi miwili mitatu nitaanza kujenga damu pale galana na tayari kuanzia hii Februari zile ekari ku, e, ekari elfu kumi ambazo tayari tulikuwa tumeifanya kama e, model e, e, farm ya yeah, 10000 acres na iko na mpaka na pivot hapo tutaanza kuzalisha chakula mwaka huu ile auction ya magari watu wanaendea kule Japan sasa hakuna haja ya kwenda Japan sasa itakuwa inafanyika hapa Naivasha I commit to provide mothers of newborn babies with diapers for their children for a minimum of three months paid for by the government of Kenya. Period poverty by providing by providing sanitary pads and sanitary towels to all our girls. And that is for free. Tutaweka pesa ya serikali kupunguza gharama ya mtungi ya gas ile ya kilo sita mnanunua 2500 2800 tutaishukisha chini mpaka shilingi 500 ama 300 hakuna tena mambo ya evictions katika Nairobi kama kutakuwa na maneno ni maneno ya relocation ambayo itakuwa ni kwa utaratibu bila ya mwananchi kuvunjiwa nyumba Uwezi kutoka nyumbani alafu unarudi jioni unakuta masufuria barabarani na blangeti sijui imekaa wapi. That one will not happen again. Sasa mtakuwa na international schedule Beko, hapa. Mechi ile inachezewa any part. Ile ya Arsenal ama Manchester United wanaweza kuja kucheza hapa. That the people of Kenya are supreme. It is the people who hire and fire governments and we will prove them on tuesday that it is the people of kenya who will make the decision to take kenya forward with the root of problem simple what you promised you've not delivered and you're still promising more and getting a shagwa raised a point on it so i think one of the things that is coming out is that The members of the public are asking those questions. The political class seem not to be there and I want to explain to you why that narrative that you kicked out Kindiki, you kicked out Tugadi because Tugadi was bringing the government, letting the government down. Why that narrative is going to push Ruto in a tight corner. And let me let, let, let me look at this, let me look at it this way. Remember yesterday when the president was talking about his deputy he decided to throw jabs at Regadi and there are things he said that for the last two years he's been working alone in the presidency that he's been he's not been getting the assistance of Regadi despite of government that the government is running many projects uh, he's been the lone voice in the executive and now he believes that Kituri Kindiki is going to explain the government agenda if you ask me uh, if i am to assess regadi and kindiki in terms of articulating the government agenda i think regadi was more was patronizing more projects and personalizing more projects and was more really aggressive than what kindiki used to communicate in the ministry of interior he's not a press first person he's not a rally person is not much on but it doesn't have all that abracadabra and again i think the president is misdiagnosing the crisis because it is not about what you are doing is not being said it's about even if it is said is it popular i want us to get a two minute bite 
from how the president really riddled the former deputy Rigade. In fact, I agree with uh, our friends, Tavas Hussein. My dear Professor Kindiki, I need your voice. I need your intellect to help me and to help members of our cabinet to profile the things we are doing, to speak to the things that we are doing. I have almost become a lonely voice in the, exec in the executive, especially in the presidency, speaking about our projects, speaking about our programs, elaborating on what we are doing. You are eloquent, my brother. You are, in you are intelligent, my brother. I am confident that you will do that which I have missed for the last two years. I know you will. It, that was unnecessary. Um, throwing jabs at Rigade to some end was actually very unnecessary. You, you didn't need to, to get to that extent. And so clearly, Kenya Kwanza has told the masses, for the last two years, I have succeeded, I have failed because of Rigadi Geshagwa. There is a lot of blame shifting. I, I'm telling you, by the time we get to 2027, we will even blame Gen Z protests who brought down, who rejected the finance bill. There, there will be a matter of, a manner of, every manner of blames when it comes to the 2027 election. And I want to tell the State House Mandarins, while it is politically uh, convenient at the moment, at the hour, because you want to pacify the ground, you want to defend the decision that was made at the Senate and the National Assembly and sanitized by the courts, it will be politically convenient now but it is a very dangerous narrative that you cannot be able to sustain. Just like I said, that you cannot sustain Uhuru attacks to 2027. It's not politically important. Now, even on this one, you will not blame Rigadi in 2027. And I want to say why this is um, going to put them in a fix. The first observation I want to make on this is this. William Ruto is running a political propaganda. And it is a short-sighted one because it works conveniently to run a smear campaign against the deputy president, Sigeti Gishagwa. But to some end, the public is seeing that he is insensitive to the plight. And that's what I'm saying. In 2027, you will not blame Rigade for what you shall have not achieved. And if you try to call Rigade, Kenyans will start asking about the policies. So you want to circumnavigate around these policies and not take responsibilities for the failure of some of the policies that have been passed by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. I want us to use a good example. There is a, a video of this lady, of this patient, who was in the hospital. Um, and um, it is, she's supposed to get cancer treatment. She could not get cancer treatment just because of the chaos between NHIF and, and SHA. I want us to listen to this video and try to analyze. When you have such a video in 2027, how will you come back and convince me that that lady, that chair is not working because of Ruto Rigade? My current, my current dialysis center, they are not offering apple and iron benefer because they are saying Sha does not cater for that. Because Sha did not, their exact words, Sha did not look at the economic part, the, the escalation of the economy, they didn't look at that, so they're not providing that. So um, every week, I'm using 1600 to buy for myself the Venofa and 
the apple injection. Uh, when I was doing my NH, I was doing my journey when I, during NHIF. I have been admitted to Kenyatta National Hospital three times, mm. and all those three times, uh, NHIF paid everything. My first bill, I remember very well, was fifty-five thousand, and NHIF paid. My second bill was eighty thousand, and they paid. And my third bill was about forty thousand, and NHIF paid everything. As for sure. I I can't see. I think uh, I th uh, it's not working. Let us be very honest with ourselves. Mm. I think NHIF is working better, and Sha has removed some of the benefits, especially us kidney patients had. Mm. Some, especially those the kind of benefits, the the the, the apple, the injections, and all that. Mm. Those ones have been removed from Sha uh, for some tests for. For some tests here at uh, Kenyatta University Faro Hospital, mm -hmm. there are some tests I'm doing for gastritis because I need to have a procedure mm -hmm. done on me, and we have paid cash. The, they say the key because of the getting fallout. Now, it is not going to be possible to put the gadi in that line. That, for sure. I can tell you, it is not going to be able to put together in that line. The second objective is this. The Gadi have been knocked out after the broad-based siblings came together. And when you look at some of the people that praise Kendiki, they call Kendiki as the professional. And then they regard as they profile regard as someone who is not a professional. Former DEO, there's that. All, all number of accusations have been made on the uh, on the deputy, the former deputy president Gadi Shagwa. Now there is something. There is a sense of William Bruto is showing the public that he's getting all he wants. Initially said that he, has he had appointed his friends in cabinet and they were not delivering. And so some were kicked out. Some were kicked out. Moses Kuria now together has been kicked out. A number of cabinet members were kicked out after that Gen Z protest. And so he formed broad-based administration. Then it came another one and said, now the deputy is the problem. He even changed the deputy. So. There is a question of what, if, if you fail, you cannot blame Brigadi because yourself, you've made changes until you change your deputy against the public wish. The public did not buy in on the decision to change your deputy. But by 2027, you shall have shown the country that you've gotten the men and women that you need for the job. I don't know what kind of excuse will come up, but I can tell, show you for sure. In any case, Raheel Odinga falls out with William Ruto before 2027. One of the most critical things that is going to happen is that it's going to be the punching bag to some end. Now, that is, that is how politics is. So that is the second end of that narrative, that together was wrong. So you've changed. So what will be the other excuse? You seem to be showing the public that Apa de Kunashida have changed. Now this minister have changed. That is the second. The other issue, the other factor why Rigadi has failed in the last 10 years, in the last two years, is very dangerous as this. Um, when things don't work, the MPs and the leaders and the officials in Kenya Kwanzaa administration recently have been seeing they are being given appointments and they are declining because government is unpopular. William Bruto might actually see a tsunami when people, when anti-regime forces converge around the candidature, around Zigadi Geshagwa. I know Zigadi does not have a candidature. 
but to really have really be of influence. So that is another critical part that is there. That while you say they will come out with different versions of the story, when you want to tell them to get us the problem, another minister who has resigned will come back and say this was the problem. You saw. One person I don't really appreciate, Mithika Lintuti, talk, saying the way he's been betrayed. He's been betrayed and he ate fertilizer money that was supposed to help farmers in Kenya. So those are the things that are really, when people come out, they give different aspects of that story. The other issue, and this is the last one, and I believe that uh, President Ruto will be told, he must stop victimizing regarding Ishangwa. Because the Gedi already have some sympathy around him. There are some members of the population that are with him. Someone was telling me about Sikudangani, the game of nation in Megazirika. Yeah, I was talking to someone yesterday. Yeah, from Moranga. Can you hear me? Hawa, Hawa Na 2027 utaona mambo itakuwa tofauti. Hapa, hapa mambo in Megazirika. Mutu Sikudangani wata sahau. They just need to be reminded. And now this is it. If William Ruto takes the risk and things, and, and of course now this will be taken by the likes of Kindiki and Moses Kuria, and they go to Mount Kenya, and they feel that attacking regarding Geshagwa is going to be politically potent in Mount Kenya, they're getting it wrong. And remember now as we go, again they will go, go to the grassroots. But if Ruto still believes that if I attack Regadi, I'm going to get my endeavors around him, he will take to get it to the ballot in 2027 and that will be at the center of the Mount Kenya range. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Let's meet in the next. These are the three houses that were built in Nyandarwa. This first one is Penina Nyambura. This was um, Uyuru Ndiyoshosh Pekeake and let me just tell you how we provided solutions there. Huyu yu shamba, huyu yu shamba likuwa naisha lipewa, yes, they were given those allotment letters. But apparently nyumba alijengewa ilisha nguka. So the grandchildren yu walikuwa nyumba zao zilikuwa ziko hapo. So she was, she was just using a makeshift structure. Now what would happen is, when the grandchildren come, alisema she feels unsafe or she feels like anawafinyilia now she has to leave and go back to that kitchen, which is now the house in Yankwa Mejengewa. So this house was built for Nyambura. She will use it alone. Peke ake. And she was very happy. And may God bless you. Now, um, that is Penina Nyambura. This house, this other one is Alice Kamande. But then apparently Alice had gone to six, she told us. Gone to six. Some, uh, there is only one Yule Munyimona Pale, Tulikuwa na Yeye, I think I showed her in the video. But the others are Wako there, and uh, what she could not directly say, but we also, we also gathered in Kwamba, alcohol and illicit brew. It's a big problem. So, she's also gotten that place. Malikuwa na lala ni kwa kanyumba kingiri katogo ya yambao, and it was also destroyed. So, she's got another one, and then the last one is Muse. Njuguna Munyu. Munyu, yeah. Njuguna Munyu. This one here. Yeye pia anaishi peke yake actually in that home. Yes, anaishi peke yake. And uh, she was, uh, not, not she, he was telling me, yeye ndia likuwa nambia hanacho. Yeah, so I, I, I tried telling some people there, ni meona uko wameweka stima. At least the local community, sasa wale mbo, the MCA there, I'm yeah, trying to get contact our jenge mzee show. Our jenge mzee cho. Yeah, and appear like a match. So that mzee apato say this. But if one of you will be willing, I can be able to directly link you. So that mzee jenge mzee cho. Yeah, you understand the pekee sasa ya mbaki nayo. But um, of the house, he's gotten a house. And thank you, we've made an impact. That for sure, guys, I can tell you. We've really, really made good impact. If you want to partner with Granny Care in future, the number is there. And I want to tell you, Granny Care is the symbolic, the flagship project of the Bold Network. I got willing, we are going to register it to a full foundation. We are in that process. But Granny Care is 
our project now. So this is a project that will move across different counties. We've done Kilifi, we've been to Kisumu, now we're in Yandarwa. We will go somewhere else. But if you want to partner with us and know more about, contact us and you can continue supporting. You can still reach out, you can still link and build another one if you want to support someone else. Now that is the problem.